Welcome to the three. We are so excited to welcome this week's guest host, Mr. Roderick Harris. All right, so Roderick, we gave you a very little introduction on Friday, mm -hmm. but for people who don't know who you are, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, I'm Roderick Will Harris Jr., um, Ghost, Coach Ghost. I'm from here, born and raised. Uh, grew up in Bryan, Texas. Grew up in a boys and girls club. Grew in a, grew up in a house full of athletes and a house full of people who decide to put on a show. All right. That's, that's my family. They like to have a good time. So. Cool. And you said you're a coach. What do you coach? I coach football, basketball, train athletes, you know, oh. daily. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is this like high school students? Uh, or? All the way up from 6 to 18 years old. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. We want to hear more about that. For sure. For sure. All righty. So let's get into it, y'all. All right. So Spotify is planning to make its curated playlist a little bit more personalized, okay? So the company is rolling out a personalized voice DJ to announce its songs and give it some life to the app. Spotify has always made music suggestions for listeners, but now an artificially intelligent disc jockey will mimic listening to the actual radio. The feature is available right now for premium subscribers. Mm, Roderick, I see you with how, yeah, right how are you feeling about this as an artist? As an artist, I love DJs, so I don't, I'm not really feeling a computerized DJ, yeah. but mm -hmm. you know, to each his own, so you know. No, I want the live, because you know, nothing beats a live DJ. Nah, nothing you know beats what I mean? a live DJ. The nothing. hype of a live DJ, yeah, you have to have that. What do, what do you feel like? If it's not DJ Rob, why am I listening at all? <laughs> I knew you were going to plug him in. I knew. That's what's up, though. Shout out like, Rob with that. You know what I'm saying? Of course. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, live DJs all day. Okay. All right, speaking of good music, mm -hmm. Rihanna and her baby bump are going to be performing once again, this time at the Oscars. According to the Academy, the song of choice is Lift Me Up from mm -hmm. Marvel's Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. The song is also up for best original song, marking Rihanna's first ever Oscar nomination. That's right. In addition to that, Wakanda Forever, the movie itself is up for five Academy Awards, including Angela Bassett earning the first acting nomination for a Marvel film. The Oscars will end live March 12th. All right. I love Rihanna mm -hmm. and I loved Black Panther. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought this recent one was my most favorite Marvel movie ever. Like I was sitting in my chair after just like Yeah. I thought it was so good. I never seen Black Panther, so Oh my god. Just I know, I know y'all I know y'all's gonna do that. So good. I seen Woman King. <laughs> okay. Is that kind of, it's, it's not the same, but it's, okay. it's not. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, okay. Well I need it's to okay. watch it. I don't the need to watch it. Powerful women in this movie, yeah. Jatrissa. You I would love sign. it. Yeah. We're kind of forever. Kind of forever. Kind of forever. I'm just saying so. Oh, I mean man. I do have to look at it though. Yeah. But Rihanna, yeah, that's cool. People were actually clowning her though. They didn't want her to sing the song. Like mm. at first people thought she was what? gonna sing it at the Super Bowl and they're like, no, no. So I wanna see how it's gonna work at the Oscars. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting. Okay. It's a powerful song. That is. I need to listen to it. All right. So 